I said to Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? I, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. I mean, since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I Easy. do. Easy. Pretty big one. <laughs> hey. That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Hey, now. We're okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Good horse. You got some energy? Show me then. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. This is the stall. In here. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh, my God. Where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Got him. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Here he come. <laughs> so close. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. 
Good day, Mr. Milton. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on, please, for me, for him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn, quiet, you know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now, you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. Whoa! Jack! Whoa! Jack! You okay? Damn. Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. You'd know it if you weren't. Get back on. Okay. All right. Now let's go again. I know you fell, but you think you're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! I beat you. I beat you. I Well beat ridden, son. <laughs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. before he sails. Oh, I'm real frightened of you. <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, oh, get him now. Get him. I'll kick his head in, boss. I couldn't stop him, Jim. <laughs> you couldn't clean my boots. you cuz you're tough it's cuz you're stupid <laughs> getty spins on women saves on hands i'm gonna smell like cow dung boys yeah when was the last time you had a bath oh dear mr milton it's like that huh? This is... 
Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. getting on surviving I think here I'll get you some coffee only thing I know how to do is well you no know, undertakers like me cattle not so much that ain't true I ain't no rancher rustled horses not raised them stole cattle not birthed them I was I was reading the newspaper I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get! You take care now. Of course. All right, here we are. You all right, son? Sure. But cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston... Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. 
Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Pa! Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pod. Hey. Those men. Are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick! Down! Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Would you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? <laughs> Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. How was the? What happened? Yeah, it's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Uh, probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! I... <laughs> it was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Mr. Milton? I should like to have a word with you. Milton? Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? OK. 
Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jim, you gotta do something. Two of them by the stalls. Leave that phone. It's over. Who's this? New hand. Oh, you're that tough guy they just took off. Yeah, I heard about you. I lost my wind. Where's Giddy's now? These is train guns and Jim. He's out. They've killed Mr. Tobert and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Man, it's me! What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah! That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. Got a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him! I tried to leave! This one shoot this!
Now, are you? Piss digging, shit shoveling, backwoods, shaka, no good, trash. <laughs> That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in. <laughs> Mr. Milton, this man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Whew. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> 